Here's a scan that we captured at the SANS Convention Center. We're in the Galileo room at the Assemble User Meeting. Just loading up the file. So this is a corner, the back uh, left-hand corner of the uh, conference room. But we had a, an advanced team who modeled the whole conference room in Revit and we're going to go to the assemble server and download that model. So we go to the Galileo room and we specify it's room 1007 next. And here we have a split screen on the right hand side we have a, a light representation of the Revit model of the entire room and this uh, rear corner here matches the scan data on the left hand side so on our dot 3d uh, app the next thing we're going to do is register these two scans together uh, one way we can do that is pick a plane in the scan data and the corresponding plane in the Revit model and hit the next button and then we'll pick another corresponding plane and you can probably guess that I'm going to pick the floor as the third corresponding plane. So I'll pick a point there and another point there. And now we can see that the point cloud and the Revit model are aligned. Okay, and we did this all on the tablet. So we connected to the assemble server, brought down the Revit model, did the point cloud alignment, on the tablet we used to capture the data. There's a slider bar on the bottom of the app that allows us to move between uh, this scan data, the reality if you like, and the model data on the right. And uh, in between we can see both. So there are a couple of things to observe. Um, one is that the model table in this uh, back right hand corner is a rectangular table and in reality we have a, um, a round cocktail table so uh, the other difference that uh, is quite glaring is the the point cloud shows that the door in the back left goes all the way to the ceiling um, but in the model the door doesn't go to the ceiling so here's another gap uh, between the two models okay so we've aligned the point cloud with the Revit model, the next step is just, and final step is to send that uh, model back to Assemble. So we just hit the publish button. Okay, that's the, uh, that's the demo.